Now I get to show you the Micrel three-face brushless DC reference design. As you can see, this is the reference design that I showed you in the previous video. In this reference design, we have five Micrel devices, three MOSFET drivers. These are the MIC4604. We have one LDO, which is the MIC5235, and the switching regulator, which is the MIC4680. But now, let me show you to demonstrate the functionality of the reference design. But first, let me spin the motor around. So I can actually show you the motor. Now, this is a reference design of a blender. So in, on the keyboard, you have, just like you have at home, you have several functions. In this case, we have seven that are pre-programmed, thanks to the folks at Zilog who pre-programmed this firmware. The first one is stop, as you can see. The second one is one-third speed. So this is revolving around 1,100 RPM, uh, two-thirds speeds, which is going to be about 2,200 RPM. and then full speed, which will be rotating about 3,300 RPM. So now, this is a brushless DC motor that actually doesn't have any sensors. We're actually using back EMF so we can calculate the, the rotor position. And what that allows us to do, since this is a brushless DC, we can al allow us to change rotation pretty easily and do it very smoothly compared to brush motors. So as you can see, this, this program will actually turn one direction and then spin the other direction. It does that very smoothly, as, as you can see. The next program is forward stop. So you can actually see also how smoothly the motor will spin and stop and will spin the same direction. And we have one more feature here, which is the linear feature. So this one, actually, actually I can have the motors rotate at whatever speed I want just by holding the button. The longer I hold the button, the, the, longer, the faster it will start to spin. So let me, show some, let me show you something a little bit more exciting than this. I'm actually going to take away the keyboard. And I'm going to apply a wireless module. This one, this module uses the MIC. RF220. Again, that's the MIC220. This is a, it uses a, a micro receiver. And then by adding this to the reference design, and then I'm going to apply a little power with 5 volt. There's a 5 volt source pin so I can actually get power. Now, with the transmitter that you see here, I'm able to actually control the same settings that you saw with the keyboard now doing it, doing it RF. Now, the transmitter uses the MIC RF112, and it has the same functionality. For example, as I showed you the first, we have one-third speed. We have two-thirds speed, as well as full speed. And we also have the forward reverse, like I showed you before. And, and the beauty of RF is that I can actually be a, a distance away from the motor and still control the motor, just like you would, for example, a ceiling fan. So this concludes the demonstration. Thank you, and have a good day.